Hey you, how are you doing? This is Kazi from cleverprogrammer.com. I'm so excited to have you here today. We're starting a new series called Python Hacks. I haven't come up with a name yet, okay? We're gonna come up with the name later. That's how I like to do things. Also, it's been a minute, so I wanted to give you some good old coding tutorial value, all right? And I'm gonna be using this website called repl.it to code in. And the reason is that you don't actually have to have Python installed. And uh, you can you can choose to follow me here or in your local Python. You're gonna be learning how to find the most common elements in a Python list. Let's jump right into it. So first we're gonna start with a little obfuscated example, and then we're gonna move on to kind of more of a real world example. So let's say I gave you this list over here. It has Apple show up twice. It has Ginger show up about four times. If I asked you to cre uh, create an array or a list with tuples in it in descending order of what item is found how many times. So for example, should look like this. You should have a list and it should have these pairs and it should say Apple is two times. And then because Ginger shows up more times than Apple, it should actually have it here like that. All right. So in descending order, and it should show all of these. If I asked you to write code like that, why don't you go ahead, pause the video and give that challenge a try. And then once you're done unpausing, I'm going to give you the shortcut way of doing this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from collections, boom, import counter. Now this is a little cool stuff that the advanced cool kids of Python are doing nowadays. And, um, I don't know why it's uh, green, but we're just going to ignore that. So we're importing counter. And, uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say counter thingy, and I'm going to take my groceries and I'm going to turn it into a counter object. All right. So I'm going to go to the end of this guy and we're going to do it like that. So that now the green thing went away because we're using what we have imported. And now what I'll say is I'll just say print counter thingy dot most common. And I'm just going to do that. And when I print it, boom, look at that. So it's saying it's telling me exactly what I wanted to know in descending order. It's a list of tuples or pairs and it goes, okay, ginger four times, banana three times, apple two times. How freaking cool is that? Now let's take it a step further. What if we only wanted to find the top one thing? So we're going to do pretty much the same thing, except for most common, we're going to pass in and say one. So now notice, notice that it's only showing me that one item whichever one is the most common. What if there were two most common items? Well, it would just pick and um, on at random. Okay. If there was a tie now let's have a little bit of a real world case scenario here, right? What, it, what would I want? To, what is another thing we want to use this most frequent thing for to find the most frequent items? Why would we want to do such a thing? How about if you want to create a word counter and you want to count how many times each word occurs on the page. Okay. So you want to be able to look at the word, the, how many times the showed up, how many times another word showed up, right? So how would you do that? Well, let's go through it. Okay. So we have, I'm going to go and copy this guy sentence from my notes and I'm, we're, we're going to paste it right over here. Cool. So now I have this big sentence over here and I want to be able to just loop, go through this and print out how many times essentially create a list of tuples or a list of pairs. And it should be in descending order telling me which word is showing up how many times. All right, let's get to it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say sentence dot split. So what that should do is split it by uh, spaces and some other stuff like comma periods and question marks. And it should give me back. 
So it's going to be a three step process. Okay. First, we're going to turn it into a list of words. Then we're going to turn it into a counter counter object. Okay. And then kind of like third, we're going to show um, the most frequent words. All right. So this is me doing step one over here. So sentence has split. Let's go to the end. This is another cool trick that if you didn't know it, I'm going to uncomment this out. And here you can see that we're essentially getting back a list of words, which is what we wanted. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed this to my counter object. All right. So what I'll say over here is I'll say counter Okay, and I'm going to call it words. Like that. Okay. Um, and let's just print it out. And we'll say most common. So now that's basically step three. And when I run it, right, you can see that it's giving me back a list of tuples in descending order. And it's going, okay, it showed up seven times. I showed up four times, how three, two, two, so on and so forth. And then everything that showed up only once. Now, what if you wanted to go ahead and actually turn it into a dictionary, like a regular dictionary. So basically you want, you want to say, Hey, is, is the key. And then seven is the value. I is the key and four is the value. Well, that's also really, really easy. All you need to do is just call dict or dictionary on that same thing. And then we're just going to print it and I'm going to comment this out and that's it. We got the dictionary. So that was just a little tip on how to use counter, how to find the most frequent and common elements in a Python list. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want access to this file, I have linked it in the description of this YouTube video. So just go ahead and click that, save it. All the notes are yours. You can play around with this exact file and learn at your own pace. That's it. Thank you so much for watching. This is Kazi. I love your face. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.